Hello, people of God. I just want to come on a minute and share something with you all. And as always, I pray that you all take this back to the Lord. But as I was in the kitchen, um, stirring up some grits, you know, I cook um, tilapia and grits. I didn't put the cheese in there. But I just, you know, I started, with, I might put the cheese in mine, but I didn't put cheese in nobody else's. But anyway, this ain't what the video about. <laughs> Um, as I was, you know, stirring up the grits, I heard and felt in my spirit like this was a scrum word, like a scrum urgency. And this is what I heard. I perceive ye are massacres of the gospel. He said, I perceive that ye are massacres of the gospel. That is what I heard in my spirit. And I was like, Lord, it is you. I say, uh, speak. I say, if it's not you, I refuse to listen to that that voice that, that you know. And I heard Luke. Go to Luke. And so I finished doing the grits or whatever. And I was still doing the grits. And he said, and I heard that, um, you know, ye, ye um, hinder you know, those who basically trying to enter in, you uh, hinder them from entering in or something like that. You hinder others from entering in is what I heard. And I um, typed in my phone that, you know, that what I heard, and it was Luke 12, 52. And we right here now, and I'm going to read it in Scripture. Not Luke 12, Luke 11. I'm sorry, 52. But I um I think I read the fifty. I read forty nine. Therefore I also say the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which uh, perished between the altar and the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe unto you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Okay, you have taken, go in there and lay down. You have taken away the key of knowledge. You enter not in yourselves, and then them that were entering ye entering in ye hindered and we can read that in, in KJV too and I'm gonna uh, read the read a little bit further down oh Jesus Christ another I pray that we have ears to hear truly hear what the Lord is saying here Here we go. And at 52 in uh, NKJV. Woe unto you, woe to you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter in yourselves, and those who were entering in, you hindered. And as he said these things to the scribes and the Pharisees, uh, began to sell him vermily. And to cross examine him about many things, lying in wait for seek uh lying in, lying in wait for him and seeking to catch him in some in something that he may say that they may accuse him. But this is what the Lord gave me eleven fifty two. He said that they know the way, but they enter others from entering in. You 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 are stopping, you're hindering others from entering in. And maskers means to brutally slaughter people or discriminate, murder, attack, butcher, uh, cut down, uh, violently kill. And so this is what the Lord gave me about hindering, hinders, uh, hindering to keep one from scribing or thriving. I forgot to look for the scripture for that. Uh, entering over into 
delay or, or to cause someone to delay you know uh keeping someone from from in you know entering through the kingdom of god you see what i'm saying like you're murdering these people you're you're massacring these people you're slaughtering those who are trying to enter in those who are trying to ascribe and enter into the straight and narrow way you're causing them to be hindered you're causing them to be led astray from scribing and, and or thriving into you know you're causing them to be delayed you're causing them to fall away so you're violently killing them you're butchering them you're murdering them you're attacking them and you're doing it you you are doing it in a self-righteous and a prideful spirit and you're thinking that you're doing god a service you see what i'm saying you're, you're thinking that you're doing god a service by the way you handle god's people the way you treat your neighbor you see what i'm saying and people are fighting over different things that are not salvational issues you see what I'm saying? They're causing those who are babes in, in Christ to fall away. And you're causing those who are in the world that are looking at the church who, you know, in their heart, they want to change or in their mind, they're thinking of change, but they look at the people who are claiming the name of Christ and there's so much division, there's so much bickering that is going on between the church. And you're causing them to even turn away before they even get a chance to enter in through the gate. Who is the gate? The Lord Jesus Christ. He said, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father except by him, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So this is what, all right, this is what we wrote down. So when you cause someone to stop entering in through Jesus Christ, causing them to stumble and to fall and to fall back, you have slaughtered them. You have become the masker of my grace, said the Lord. Come back to me, my child, who have been led astray by the masker of my salvation. Him will I help, I mean, him will I held accountable for the one who been led astray. My heart grieves for you, my child. Come back to me. I will carry and teach you. My child, my grace is sufficient for you, said said the lord my child come back to me my child i the lord have spoken it when one of mine is led astray by pharisees i will repay it and, and, and living bread i will repay said uh said my child my grace is sufficient for you come back my child i will repay him that led uh, the scrape, uh, I will repay him that that led them astray, a ma massacre of them that desire to seek my face. I will repay, said my child, come back, come back to me, hearken unto me, my child, my heart longs for thee, my child, come back to me, I will repay. Nothing gives by me an escape without my chastisement. My child, I, the Lord, will repay, said the Lord. I, I, I'm, yeah, I, the Lord, will repay, said thee to my child, which was, which was led astray by false prophets who lie in my name. Oh, my child, I will repay. Time is far spent. I will repay. I will pay. Uh, time is far spent. I will pay all that is owed to me. I will repay my child. And these are the scriptures. Second Corinthians. <clears throat> Second Corinthians 12. 9. And he said to me, my grace is... And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may be, may rest upon me. Matthew 18, 6.
Matthew 18, 6. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it will be better for him that a milestone were hang about his neck than that we were uh, thrown in the depths of the sea. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must need be that offense that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Therefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them uh, from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life halt at or main rather than having two hands and two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. Romans 13, 12. Romans 13, 12. Romans 13, 12. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk earnestly in in the light, not in riding, drunkenness, not in chambering, wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust, the lust is thereof. So go back and listen to this video and write down the scriptures that I read and this the word that the Lord have given me to confirm what he said here. So you who who are causing offense, you who are maskers of the gospel, repent. And Lord, if I ask, and I ask you, Lord, if I have been a masker and have caused offense to anyone in my flesh, Lord, I ask that you forgive me because I don't want to hinder no one from entering in through the straight and narrow way. And I don't want to be a fence to someone and cause someone to be led astray. So, Lord, I humbly ask you in the name of Jesus to forgive me of my sins and causing someone else to be led astray in my ignorance. And in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you. Amen.